Hello children, let us begin our next chapter that is rights and duties. Let us understand what is the meaning of rights and duties. There are certain rights that are given to us by constitution. These rights are followed called as fundamental rights. The rights which are given to us and as being a citizen of India, we are giving certain rights to enjoy the democracy of our country. Every rights carries a duty along with it. So, while enjoying our fundamental rights, we should not forget to obey our duties. We sh for example, our Constitution has given us the right to worship where we want to and in the way we want to. But it is also our duty to allow others to worship the way they want to. So, they, it's our right to worship or to follow any kind of religion. But at the same time, it's our duty to allow others to worship and to allow others to follow any kind of um, religion they want to. So, along with certain rights, we have to follow certain duties. Most of us are aware of our rights, but very few remember our corresponding duties. These duties are given to us by constitution and are called fundamental duties. So let us see some of the duties which we should follow. Let us find out how many of you are aware of these duties. First question comes, do you stand to attention when you hear the national anthem? It is the duty of every citizen to respect our constitution which can be shown by giving proper respect to national flag and national anthem. So we live in a country and it's our duty to respect our country, to respect our national flag as well as national anthem. So whenever we hear national anthem we should stand in an attention position and that is our duty do you make fun of your friends belonging to other religion and cultures that is our right to follow any religion that is our fundamental right and it's our fundamental duty to respect each and every religion and to respect each and every culture we should always try to promote the spirit of brotherhood among the people belonging to different faith and cultures. Are you loyal to your friends? When your friends are or neighbor is in a difficulty, do you help him? So as we are loyal to our friends, in the same manner we should be loyal to our country and should defend her in times of emergency. Country gives us a lot. Each and every time serves, uh, help us a lot in our daily needs. So at the same time, it's our duty to serve it whenever it needs our uh, help. Okay. So in this case, we should be loyal to our nation. Do you help to keep your school and neighborhood clean if we realize that this is our country and we have to protect and improve its natural environment and all of us do our part then very soon there would be marked improvement in our environment so as we keep our house clean our school is also our house our nation our neighborhood Hood is a place where we stay. So we should take that responsibility to keep our school, our neighborhood clean. Because we only have to live there. Our relatives, our families will be staying there. Our friends are like our family members. Our school should keep it clean. And we should 
protect each and every monument the forts of our nation the historical places of our country that should be protected by us as being a citizen it's our duty to protect those historical monuments forts and should not let it deplete do you have friends with bad habit if yes then do you encourage them to leave their bad habits so it's our duty to discourage that person if that person is involved in certain bad habits because bad habits leads to being a bad individual as well as that will lead to degrade the status of our country so that is why each and every citizen should take care of this thing and whatever wrong happens around us we should stop them we should try to stop them and we should take some initiative steps some people in our country are superstitious some practice gambling or take dowry etc it is our duty to remove such practices from our society if we want to make our country as a developed country we are still in a stage of developing if we want to make our country as a developed country it's our duty to remove such kind of practices from our society if we see such kind of practices are being practiced in and around our environment we should try to take initiative steps to reduce such kind of or to eliminate such kind of practices from our country from our society if all of us do, do our duties efficiently then our country would certainly become a better place to live in so let us see what is the thought of the day let us let our object be our country a whole country and nothing but our country so whatever thing we are doing right from the beginning that is for our country we are because of our country and whatever activities we are doing that is because of our country you all are student you are studying in the future some of you will become a doctor some of you will become an engineer some of you will become a professor or teacher or or will opt any other profession and by the help of your profession you will be serving your country so like we as a teacher we are making you all ready to make our future bright so whatever activities we are doing whether uh, that is at your home or outside your home you all are doing those activities for your country not for yourself so remember your duties will affect the nation your duties your rights your though you got rights to do anything but at the same time you have to follow certain duties and your duties will affect the future of the nation so we have completed the chapter